The other two strategies that we looked at when adding and subtracting integers, namely the tile strategy, the integer tiles and the number line analogy, those were much slower techniques, but they focused on understanding what was going on when you added and subtracted these types of numbers. In this strategy, we're not going to focus on understanding what's going on. We're just going to focus on a really fast trick that we can use to do this stuff quickly in our heads. We're going to start with the number line just to get a visual of it. And then the next few questions afterwards, we're just going to do it without a visual number line. The trick is this. If the signs are the same, and I'll show you what signs we're talking about. If the signs are the same, so I got to remember, go to the right. Signs are the same, go to the right. If the signs are different, in other words, if they are opposite signs, you're going to go to the left. So same signs, go to the right. Opposite signs, go to the left. Remember that. And I'm going to show you what signs the, I'm talking about. I'm talking about these two signs. If they are different, which are the, they are, they're opposites, we go to the left. The first number indicates our starting point. So meet Mr. Frog. He's going to start at negative 4. We're going to move him to the left. That's what the arrow says. We're going to move him to the left three times. So we're going to go one. Actually, these things, uh, they make noise. Listen. He's going to land there. So our answer is going to be negative seven. Put it in brackets because these other two numbers are in brackets. That's the rule. If they're in brackets, the answer's in brackets. We go on to the second one here and we have a starting point at positive eight. So Mr. Frog goes to positive eight. We look at those symbols. We look at these signs and we say, they're different. So we have to go to the left three times. So we're going to bounce them three times. Listen to this. Close your ears. You might get scared. That wasn't so bad. We end up at positive five. So we have positive five. Now looking at this one here, we have a new starting point at negative eight. So we're going to put him at negative eight. That's where he starts. We look at the signs, we say they are the same. If the signs are the same, we don't care if they're both negatives or positives, as long as they are the same, you go to the right. So we're going to bounce them three to the right, he's going to go one, and we end up at negative five. Negative five. Now I want you to stop here for a second. Look at negative five and positive five. These two numbers are called opposite integers. They are opposite integers. You need to remember this term. It'll come up. In the exam that follows this video, there are questions about opposite integers. Opposite integers have the same number, but different signs. So negative five and positive five. Here's other opposite integers. Negative nine, positive nine. Can you find more? How about, uh, what's the opposite integer to negative two? Positive two. So they're the same number with different signs. So now that's that's all I'll say about that. And then we have this one here. We have a start at positive 11. Excuse my writing, my chicken scratch. We look at these two here. They're different. So we go to the left. So let's put frog man. We're going to put them at 11. We're going to go to the left now because they're different signs. We're going to go three times. Our answer, positive 8. Put them in brackets, because these two are in brackets. Now let's do it without a number line, and let's use bigger numbers. So we start now at positive eight. So I will make my own number line, and I'll put positive eight over here. Now I put it way on this side, I'll tell you why. Because these are different, and I'm gonna have to go to the left. So I need room on the left. So I made it right here. Now once you get good at this, you don't need to draw number lines, you can just do it in your head. But at first you may need to draw them. I'm going to go 50 times. Now this is not a problem because we know 50 is made up of groups of 10. It's made up of five groups of 10. So 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. So what I will do is I will make five jumps. Now I use 10 because by now we've been kept skip counting by 10s for years. We've been doing it since grade two or grade three. So let's see if we can apply it to this. If I make my first jump to 10, and I make another jump to 10, and I skip another 10 numbers, and another 10 numbers, 
arrows are getting smaller. They shouldn't, but I'm got to save space. One, two, three, four, and I can save space this way. I'll just move them over. Four, and then five. Look what's going to happen. I'm going to put one here, one there, one there, one there, one there. Assume they are evenly spaced. The first jump backwards by 10, I'm going to land at what number? Negative two, because if I go 10 spots, you can count slowly, count backwards, kind of like a, kind of like a countdown. Seven, hold up your thumb. Seven, six, five, four, three. How many fingers so far? Five, two, one, zero. That's eight numbers. Two more. Negative one, negative two. That's 10 numbers. So I'm going to go to negative two. And after that, it's pretty simple. Negative 12, that's, tw that's 10 numbers. Another 10 makes negative 22 and then negative 32, and then negative 42. Negative 42 is my answer. Now, th this one here, I'm going to erase this last one. If you need it, um, you can pause the video and write it down. I'm going to erase it. I'm going to start at negative 8. So let me make my own number line. I know I'm going to go to the left again, so I'm going to make lots of room on the left. Now I'm at negative 8. I'm going to go 43. Now 43 is made up of 4 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 3 more. So I'm going to make a jump of 10, a jump of 20, a jump of 30, a jump of 40. Now I'm going to stop at the 40 and then I'll go slowly afterwards. If I jump 10 backwards, I start at negative 8, what number is that going to be? Negative 18. And then negative 28. Negative 38. So you get the hang of this, right? We're just counting by tens backwards. Negative 48, now I'm gonna slow down because I need three more. So I'm gonna go negative 49, negative 50, negative 51. So I'm counting by ones here for my last bits. And that's my answer. Put them in brackets, don't forget the brackets. And we're gonna use this one here, but now we're not going to the left, we're going to the right. Same signs. So I'm gonna start at negative 62, Negative 62. I've got that down. 53 numbers to the right. I'm going with 53 numbers to the right. So isn't that five tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm going to do five tens. So here's a jump of 10. Here's another jump of 10. That's my third one. Here's my fourth. And here's my fifth. Now I'm going the other way now. I'm getting closer to zero. So what's my first number going to be? It's going to be negative 52. And then I'm going to write on top negative 42, negative 32, negative 22, negative what? Negative 12. And then that's 50. I need three more. So I'm going to go really slow now. I'm going to go one at a time. Negative 11, negative 10, negative 9. My answer is negative nine. Here's two more. These ones I'd like you to try by yourself. You may want to pause the video. All right, I'm going to keep going with the answer here, but maybe it's a good idea just to see if you know what you're doing. So the first one, we're going to start at negative 86. Now I'm going to go to the right. So I'm going to make lots of space to the right because I got lots of numbers to jump. I got 92. Now I'm going to show you a really short, a really fast way of doing this one. Negative 86. Look. 92 jumps to the right, that's more than 86. And I know if I do exactly 86 jumps, if I do exactly 86 and I start at negative 86, I do exactly 86, what number do I land on? I land on zero, right? That's 86 numbers. So from here to there, I've skipped 86 numbers. 86 numbers. I need to jump 92 times. So now I'm at 86 jumps. I've got 87 jump. So I'm, let's let's do this. I'm going to do my 87th one, my 88th, my 89th, my 90th, my 91st, my 92nd. That's 86 numbers. And then one, two, three, four, five, six more. That's 92. So now what I, what number is this? It's positive six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And the last one. Let's make some space. 
So if you got that first one right, you're in good shape here. You're you're doing very well. This one here, not as hard as the last one, I don't think. Well, actually, maybe it is. There's a, there's a trick in this one too. A, a part where people get confused. Here I'm going to go to the left. So I'm going to make lots of room on my left. I got positive 28. Now look, I'm going to go 50 times. That's exactly five tens. So I'm going to go my first jump 10, my second 10, my third 10, my fourth 10, and then my fifth one. That's exactly how many I need. I don't have to do any more after that. But look, 28, 10 to the left. Numbers are shrinking. I got 18, positive. Another 10 to the left, I get 8, positive. Another 10, negative 2. So the pattern sort of breaks. There's no more 8s anymore. Now I've got the negative 2. I'm going to go negative 12, negative 22. My answer, negative 22. Ah!